It slows down, but once it reaches the steel tube, it quickly undergoes heating along with the subsequent cracking. So molecules already broken down by pyrolysis or catalytic cracking inside the pot are broken down again in the catalyst tube. The lower part of the tube gets even hotter, further favoring these reactions. Now everything was ready. I placed the entire system over the forge and started it to collect the initial soup of lighter hydrocarbons. The first material to come out are smaller, more volatile molecules, like cooking gas. We can collect some in a test tube. Because it's denser, it settles at the bottom and can be ignited when poured into the air, obviously with an initial spark. The forge heat was insane, so I switched to a stove. Unfortunately, the epoxy didn't hold up to the promised 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit and broke. I tried to stop the leak with clay, knowing it wouldn't be perfect, but it held a bit longer. Still, it wasn't enough to collect everything that could have been recovered. If this were done correctly with steel, that volume of plastic would have produced liters of this liquid. For those wondering, this is how I tried to plug the leak. Check out the final state. All right, let's continue with our hydrocarbons. I think I contaminated a bit of water, so I'll add a little sodium sulfate to dry it as much as possible. Now I'll transfer it to another container to refine this mixture of diesel, kerosene, and others. The color looks like this because of oxides pulled during distillation. As I mentioned before, gasoline is a cocktail of hydrocarbons, and they have different boiling points. So we collect gasoline within a specific temperature range, roughly from 86 degrees Fahrenheit to 392 degrees Fahrenheit. Any vapor in this range is collected on the other side of the system. What's left are larger molecules, mainly diesel and kerosene. And finally, pure gasoline is ready. It can be colorless or slightly yellow. Look how easily it ignites. And check out what's left on the other side, it's a bit viscous, since the molecules are larger and heavier.